My name is Chief Cadmus DeLorme, and I'm a proud Cowes' citizen. I welcome our guests, Prime Minister Trudeau, Premier Mo, and all friends and family of Cowes' First Nation. At one time, before treaty, our ancestors roamed this land. There was no children in care. There was no unemployment. Everybody had a role. Everybody had a duty and everybody had a purpose. At the time of treaty, Cows' First Nation, this is what we envisioned was the following. Two canoes going down the river. The crown, which today represents our Prime Minister and our Premier, and the Cows' First Nation canoe, side by side. And we were supposed to flow down this river together, every generation exchanging a child to know the ideology in that canoe and then give those children back so we always coincided. Unfortunately, today we inherited a history where that didn't happen. In our Cows' canoe at one time was the Indian Act, which is still here today. At one time, the residential school was put in our canoe. At one time, the 60s scoop was put in our canoe. And our Cows' citizens fought. Our leaders fought to make sure our kids could still dance today. Today, we all inherited that. Prime Minister Trudeau, Premier Mo, and all their team didn't create this. We all inherited this today. And because of that, we have a little bit of loss of control, a little bit of loss of language, a little bit of loss of governance, a little bit of loss of our social and even our individual lives. One of the major things that happened is what you call vertical lineage pass down. If residential schools, 60s scoop, Indian Act weren't here, Kokum would have passed down to mum. Mum would have passed down to daughter. Daughter would have passed down to granddaughter, as it should have been. But because of four generations of residential school, it became horizontal. Kukum had to stand beside her cousin to survive. Mom had to stand beside her sister and cousin to survive. And today, that lineage is coming back. That vertical lineage, one day at a time. And we are gaining control. Because of the federal government investing with houses, we now farm our lands again. Because Premier Mo and the government of Saskatchewan worked with houses for renewable energy, we're about to build a 10 megawatt solar field. We got turbines. We are gaining strength one day at a time. But as we move forward, we got a lot of healing to do. I asked three friends, family, that are sitting behind, beside us. Rob, give us a wave. Kevin, give us a wave. Nicole, give us a wave. These are proud Cows' citizens. And at one time, they were in the system. And we didn't find them. Today, they came home. Nicole, Rob, and Kevin, I'm sorry, and you're home now. Today we give birth to a new horizon, Chief Red Bear Children's Lodge. Today, 
is a historical day because we never gave up our sovereignty to our children. And today, with the Prime Minister of Canada and the Premier of Saskatchewan, we are going to sign a coordination agreement. And what that means is Prime Minister Trudeau stands beside causes and invests in us as we heal at our pace. Premier Mo stands beside us as Cows' First Nation and invests at our pace as we grow. And the end goal is one day there will be no children in care. I'm 39 years old. I hope that happens in my lifetime. But Cows', we have a lot of work to do. And every day we will roll up our sleeves to make sure that every child, when we call them home, that they know where home is, and that is Cowes' First Nation, and that they will dance, they will get their education, and they will walk with their chin up and be a proud Cowes' citizen.